What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I cannot wait to get this over with. This is the worst part of YouTube. It's the equipment that you need to do it. And when it's failing on you, it's irritating. So I wanted to get a little bit of a, a before and after. So this is what it looks like in its current state. I did have a bunch of LEDs that ran all the way around from Corsair, but they blew in like a month. So I didn't go Corsair this time. I know they're good for everything else, but obviously LEDs is not their thing. So instead I just went with this uh, Ergo. They were on Amazon, and actually they look much better quality than Corsairs. Kind of shocking, but we're going to go with those, we're going to start stripping this bad boy down. Let's get into it. Parts cleaned. Brought them outside. You know, I gave them a little spray with the uh, dust can just to get most of it off. I ran some of these under the sink just to wash them off real good. And I use microfiber rags because the dust just clings and sticks to these. So look at the table. This thing was pretty gross inside. But we got all of these magnetic levitation fans. All clean, look brand new. Well, because they are ready to go. I just put them down on a dirty table. So we're gonna put the PC case back up on the table after I flip the cloth over. And uh We'll start putting some parts back in there.
So if you didn't watch the other video, uh, my other PC video, I just wanted to add this in here. Uh, originally, I put in a PC power and cooling, I think it is. I got it on Amazon. It was a 1,050 watt power supply. And it was like uh, 160 bucks. Sorry, my keyboard's dying. Speaking of PC problems. Yeah, it was about 160 bucks. And I looked at those Evega 1000 watt power supplies and they were like 370 bucks after tax. You know, I already spent a ton of money, so it was like, oh. You know what, I'll go with the uh, PC power supply. And that was a mistake. I had the whole computer put together, everything zip tied, all the wires nice, and I had to rip it all apart. So, don't cheap out on your power supply. Let's get on with it. The PCs are done. I never want to do that again. That was like a, a good week, a good solid week. But here's a... Uh, I already showed you guys this one, but this one, uh, this is the OG Beast. And, uh, I really just wanted to test it out, so I've been messing with it. And I think I figured out where the problem was. This thing is not as bad as I thought. So I think it had something to do with the V-Sync on these monitors. Because originally I had that monitor on the left which is the same one as the one on the right they're just two different sizes and w whenever I had this this computer hooked up to it it would refresh the screen all the time and it was annoying never did it when I was playing a game and never did it whenever I was like really doing something that was hard on the computer but if I was just like on the internet watching YouTube, did it all the time, and it drove me nuts. But, since I've hooked it up to the TV, I've been using this, and I have not had a single screen refresh. So, that might have been, it might have been the monitor, not the computer. Or maybe it was some software, I don't know. But it seems to be working fine. I was playing some uh, Doom. I hooked up the VR. Was playing VR the other day. Boxing. Punching some dude in the face. So I still will sell this one because I really could use the money. But if anyone wants it, thousand bucks, best offer. I will sell it. But you know, anything less than a thousand, I'm probably just gonna keep it. And here's the main event, Beast 3.0. Beast 3.0, an 8 terabyte monster. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's the Beast 3.0 YouTube machine. It's a, uh, a Ryzen 9 12 core, 24 thread, RTX 3070, and it has 8 terabytes. Four terabytes of which is M.2. Uh, one of them is dedicated just for video editing software and the YouTube channel. Nothing else is going on that drive. It's going to be just for that. 
this computer I did not skimp on cooling. I made sure everything was like to the nines with cooling. The M.2 hard drives have that little like uh, heatsink jelly pads that you can buy and I would put one on the back. I believe, yeah, so on the other computer, it didn't come with heat, um, heat sink plates on the front. This new computer, on the motherboard, it came with these big heat sink plates, and if you take them off the motherboard and flip them around, it already had that heat sink jelly on them. You just peel the sticker off, and right against the M.2. Also, the motherboard has this little uh, rubber block. So when you, here's the block, when you put the M.2 hard drive down, even if you put heat sink under it, you can, there's still room for airflow to get underneath the M.2 hard drive. So I put a thin layer of that, that jelly and I put a big chunky copper plate on the bottom. Then there's jelly on top with another, the motherboard's heatsink plate. And I just have fans, 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 and liquid cooling. And this one's actually the Corsair. I had, I bought that big, you know, Corsair controller that's like 50 bucks, and you plug all the fans and everything into it, one box, instead of having like two or three of those little Corsair control boxes. Everything went into one, it all runs off the same software. Now I noticed with this computer, when I start taxing it, the fans kick on and they start revving up. The old computer didn't do that. And uh, I think that was part of the problem. And maybe it was just the way I had it set up, the way I had it wired, or the software, I don't know. I am no PC expert by any means. This computer took me uh, all week, and then the software took me probably two nights after work, maybe a little longer. So, yeah, that's it. I already edited the video. This is the last little tidbit that I just wanted to throw on the end, and holy smokes, man, <laughs> this computer is so fast. It is so fast. It was worth it. All the time and money I put into it. I like this thing. And it looks cool. Now it'll be a little easier. I can make uh, YouTube videos and uh, the editing part. That's the worst part. I mean, I can go bowling for two hours, come back, and it takes me three hours to edit the footage because the computer sucks. And then you get like five views. It's like, ugh. But yeah. That's it, guys. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.